Hi guys, and so today I will be reviewing this product that I just bought from Target and it's called the Contour Palette by Black Radiance and I often use their products so I wasn't really hesitant to try it um, but one thing I will say is that I don't really contour or um, contour my face a lot um, but I'm kind of getting into it more and I wanted to give this a try and so it comes with three colors um, the highlight, the sculpt, and the contour. I didn't understand the sculpt. I don't know why, um, but I applied it where it said to apply it, and I did just a light contour, and I will show you, um, in the video coming up how I applied it to my face, and it may not be a drastic change, change because I don't really use a lot of makeup. I like to keep my makeup, um, looking kind of natural, um, on the lighter side, um, Today's look is inspired by someone, so if you are um, curious to see that video, go ahead and check out that video coming soon um, this week. And I will have on the same shirt, and because I'm filming um, both of these videos at the same time. So if you are curious about this product and want to know more of what I think about it, then just stay tuned. Okay, so off the back, I can see that I'm not sure too much on how I would like this color. I think that this may be an okay color for me, but hopefully it won't be too too light and makes it look kind of funny. And I feel like this would be a really pretty highlight. Um, I've been kind of playing around with the contour and highlight. I'm not really that much into it, but I am have been playing around with it for a little while just to see how I really like it and get used to it and do it the right way. So first, I'm gonna take the contour palette and I'm using my angled brush from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna get a little bit on that. And I like to start off with a little less and build it up instead of trying to get it all on the first swipe and end up with a mess. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you guys. to be very light with this <laughs> and just place it on my face okay so now that I have tried this I will tell you a little bit about it and how I like it so I absolutely I like it our first impression um, I will see how it lasts. I didn't do anything too drastic because that's just not me. Like, I don't want to change my whole face and look like a different person when I take off my makeup. Um, I would say that you, if you're a beginner, you know, like to play around and this is a good one just to get a feel of highlighting and contouring if you're in my shade or lighter. They have one. They have another one that was for lighter skin, so I didn't get that one because I'm not lighter. Um, but I would, you know, I am happy with it off the first time, so we'll see if I will incorporate this more into my routine or if I'll just kind of let it sit here. But for first impressions, I will say that you can go to Target or online and get you one because I do like it. I do like it. Um, the highlight, it looks pretty. It's natural. The sculpt, I'm not really sure about. Um... But the contour, definitely. I definitely will suggest that you get the contour. So the next thing I'm going to take is my Makeup Forever HD and just kind of set everything that I put on my face.
cool Here my life, bugging my shot So we can do, we can do, we can do Just be cool, like who be cool Here my life, bugging my shot So we can do, we can do, we can do Just be cool Don't do, swear won't do Put it to the test, like I do the rest Promise can't be me, trust me 